It's time for Bourbon with Friends, the bourbon podcast that never takes itself too seriously. Pull up a chair, grab a glass, and remember, a bourbon with friends can change the world. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bourbon with Friends. This week is straight bullshit, and yeah. we're just going to have fun with it. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Guest. <laughs> we're just going to talk. We don't have anything to drink this week besides what's around us, and that's about it. So mm -hmm. we're just here to entertain you or laughter guilds. I don't know at this point. Mm -hmm. We're just having fun. Yeah, yes. we don't want to let you guys down by not having something this week. So <laughs> we decided to bullshit for however long this lasts for. What are you doing over there, Adrian? Uh, just messing with my phone cord. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know. It looks look complicated what you're doing. Like, yeah, no, nope, not Using a bomb or something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Well, I could probably I could probably do that if someone would teach me. I'm not I, teaching you. I was gonna I'm not say there's allowing one anybody to teach you. <laughs> it's not like you're ma I'm, it's not like I would be making it. I would be making it not blow up. Well, mm -hmm. well that, yeah, yeah, that's what a yeah. Just you can get like a fake bomb. Get like a <laughs> I don't know. Just get some sort of mechanical device and just just take it from there. There's gotta be something you can do. Why are we Let's talking not, about bombs? Why are we talking about bombs? <laughs> this has got so much worse. Did I start, did I start because this? because our acro our acronym is BAM. That's why. Oh, I don't think we've addressed that. Why 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 it's BAM and who's the one that uh coined that lovely little phrase? So, I know. I love it? it. Who was it? Chelsea. Who was Chelsea. Uh, was Chelsea? Shout out Chelsea. Yeah. Shout out. Yeah, she uh coined our BAM. BAM. The BAM. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hopefully i'll have those shirts done soon so people can buy them yeah, there you go merch drop Woo! yeah that'll be fun i don't it'll know it'll be fun it'll be the next big explosion on bwf mm -hmm. still in the bomb thing huh ah <laughs> uh, yeah that that was awful <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh well i don't know i was thinking um <laughs> How's, uh, what's like the what's the best thing you've done this summer so far i mean it's i just realized that we are like as far as like school goes my niece she has, she has like five weeks left of summer i'm like fuck that's insane it's almost it's disappearing over. it's disappearing <laughs> and i feel like i've done a lot but I'm, I'm just i don't know what do you guys think is your favorite thing so far this summer i know it's not over but like what's the favorite thing so far this summer oh journeyman hands down i was gonna say that too yeah that's been yeah. my favorite so far. Yeah, that was I was not gonna say that. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. 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 It was probably the yeah. yeah. well, was probably yeah, the trip hear. I'm about to take. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're preemptively thinking it's the best thing. I, I'd be on I'd be lying if I didn't say I was a little bit jelly that I can't go, but yeah, I mean it's yeah. a it's a good lineup for a lot of good artists and I'm um, helping out nonprofit and so What's the name of it again? Uh, the event or the nonprofit? The, well, both, I guess. Uh, the event is ND Country Fest, so North Dakota Country Fest in New okay. Salem. And the nonprofit is Base Camp 40. Nice. What does so, that do? Uh, take out veterans hunting and fishing around the world for free. Uh, you, I've, you've talked about that before. Yeah, it's my yeah. nonprofit. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say you that, do that's that. Why you're talked the about one it. leading yeah. the that's why he's done it. <laughs> that's that's why I'm going up there. Yeah. Who's all the hot artists that are playing? Diamond Rio, Dirk Spentley, War Hippies. Probably others that I can't remember off the top of my head. Well, Chancy Diamond Rio Williams. and Dirk Dirk Spentley are both I would love to see both of them. Ned Ledoux, Chris Ledoux's son. Oh, who's that? I wish I could smack you through a computer screen right now. It's Hold okay. on, you say 
You say War know. Hippies? I mean, the, the name yeah. sounds familiar, but I don't, I'm not. That's nothing. a cool name. It's it's like a juxtaposition. I, I get what they were going for there. Yeah. I like that. Well, they were both in the military. One was a uh, Marine. The other one was in the Army. So That's cool. What kind of music yeah. is it? Is, like, is it like real country or is it like? Folky. Folky. Oh, Red Dirt. Red Dirt country. So. Oh, okay. Right on. That's cool. I prefer Blue Dirt Country, but that's just me. <laughs> I I don't really listen to country, if you want to know the truth. But uh, well, what? I, I, no, I think two of you don't. I'm the only one who does. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, now that's not fair. I do listen to a little bit of country. I just it's not my it's not my go to. No way. Yours is uh, some other stuff. I'm not going to mention on here. Because, Hood rat uh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, he said it, not me. <laughs> It's not shit. No, I'm not well, like shit. It's not saying hood rat shit in the same thing. Oh, wow. Well. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to hear the whole good playlist of that here in about two oh. weeks. <laughs> well, that's not the only thing I listen to. Yeah. Just 89%. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a pretty good estimation. I'll give yeah. you that. Yeah, that's pretty close. Percentage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fair that's enough. Good. Favorite uh, Favorite whiskey you've tried this year so far? Ooh. Well, can can it? I don't know. It doesn't have to be from twenty twenty four. It's just like the 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 best one you've tried this year. That unobtainium. Well, that was good. I that was really that good. Yet. You should. Uh, I'm curious on your reaction to it, just because it is. You know, I really it's... loved that high rye, that blue run high rye. I really loved that. Shout out! Shout out to blue run. Yeah, I really loved that. Thank and you, Mike. I, I, I also loved um, the Rolling Fork rum, but you said whiskey, or you said whiskey or bourbon. You didn't say rum, so that's why I didn't say that. But the one that was um, the toasted bourbon cask one, the Barbados one, oh, the one yeah, you were that. just drinking from right out of the bottle. Yeah, yeah. well, it's just a, it's just a tiny bottle. And this is the two hundred mil. It's fine. <laughs> I'm so saying that from now on. Someone's like, "Did you just drink a lot?" I'm like, "It's a smaller bottle. It's fine." <laughs> oh god, that's, our, that's gonna. That's what we're gonna say from now on. It's, just, <laughs> it's fine. It's just a Not small a bottle. Deal. Um, I feel like I don't have to say mine, but it's definitely the um the Detling Firefighter, a uh, uh, fire. That was fire good one. too. Was that good. was good. About that one. That, that was, really was good. good. Yeah, that I like good. that one a lot. That's that one or what else did I have? Ooh, that Driftless Blend Seven Year Rye. That oh, one that was really, sound... It was so good. Bad Cop. That was really good too. Bad Cop yeah, I'm just good. gonna keep going. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't had either one of those. So yeah. That one was very good, but no, de- definitely the Detling, uh, the fire department one uh, done by Mossy. Shout out, Jake. But no, yeah, I'm pretty really, sure it was done uh, by Detling and picked by Mossy. Well, picked by Mossy, done by Detling. <laughs> but, I'm yeah, sending you know. some Edwin Co. Brian. I got it set. I got it all. Yes. Set up today. I just gotta take it to the place. Is that loggable? It is. It's what? their. Special release of 2022, the Crackling mm. Spice Rises from the Smoky Intensity. Ooh, it's a. I like. I like the sound of that. <laughs> 57.3 proof. Why, why do you like the sound of that? A smoky Intensity. <laughs> but you don't like heated whiskey, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't like think about that. Did I you? like no, I didn't. I guess I like smoking cigars, and that's what it made me think of. Uh, that was a good pivot. That was a good yeah. pivot. Yeah. I'm really yeah. curious on trying this though, because it is a cool label. That is very cool. Very it looks cool. like a phoenix. What's on the front? It is a phoenix. It is a phoenix. Ah, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, I want to open this right now, but no. I don't want to. You know, don't do it then. No one's making you. You're make them. Going Adrian, back. Adrian, make them. Oh. Do it. Make them. I, I won't because I already said it. I'm not a big fan of the peated stuff, but I'm I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up hope. Well, try yeah. that uh what I sent you. 
The unobtainium. The, the unobtainium. Okay. That. You may like that. I'm Dan Heath. On the What It's Like to Be podcast, I ask folks about their jobs. Like, what keeps a TV meteorologist up at night? When I'm at work and there's a tornado coming into town, my husband and my kids have to get into the tornado shelter without me. What keeps a welder driven? I never am satisfied. I always know I can do better. And what keeps a hairstylist on her toes? I know she likes that Holly Berry haircut, but she doesn't look like Holly Berry. Find out on What It's Like to Be wherever you get your podcasts. Well, the single, the American single malts that I've had, I, I, they're not, you know, they're, they're not horrible. That was a well, lot can, of, that was a yeah. lot of words to say something wasn't horrible. <laughs> they're, um, <laughs> they're, uh, so it's not that they're, uh, so they're not, uh, uh, they're, not, they're, not <laughs> they're not bad. They're, they're not, they're not great. Um, but they taste like shit. Uh, so, <laughs> But they're on the other side of shit. They're just sort of shit. Uh, but they're really good. <laughs> uh, but they I need to have a drum fucking button I can play. <laughs> da 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 ch. It's funny though, because you said that the last couple of times that you had them, they gave you a worse hangover hangover than bourbon. I, they give me a headache. That's the aftermath. And I don't it's uh, wine does that to me too. Well, yeah, that makes but sense. if I just drink regular uh, whiskey or bourbon, um, I don't have that problem typically. Yeah, I'm the opposite. <laughs> I feel cool. great the next day usually after I have uh, bourbon. So I feel like um, higher weeded bourbons tend to give me a give me a headache, even though that is my preferred mash bill. They tend to give me a worse headache the next day, even if I only have a little bit. I still have a, a a little bit of a headache the next day, so I don't know what that is. But single malt <laughs> scotch, I feel like that's the one that never really has a, a big effect the next day. I don't know why that is. Probably, it's almost like we're made different. I was like, probably your genetics might have a teeny bit to do with it. Oh, okay. It's in my blood already, is what you're saying. It's already, yes. Yeah, Courses part through of, my blood, so it it's just, part it's, of who you are. Yeah. Okay. I'll let my parents know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done to me. <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah no um let me think about this Ooh, questions 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 right we came into this blind oh god yeah Let's do see. you have any isms from your family that you anybody says like I don't oh, know, I my grandfather used to say um mottos sayings Oh, that yeah. your like your dad has, or your mom has, or your grandparents has, or Adrian with her chain looking like uh, who was that again? The Rock, Dwayne, <laughs> Night Rock Johnson. With that, and with Dwayne. that, I'll say my my dad would always tell my brothers they're cruising for a bruising. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not really an ism, but it kind of is. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it is a little bit. So. So wait, yeah. are you referencing that towards me right now, Adrian? Just no. Because I called you Dwayne the Rock No, Johnson? well, we, yeah. he called me the Rock, and I mean, he could probably give somebody a good bruise, and so that's kind of why I was like, I'll just throw it out there. Well, he likes, he likes, <laughs> he, he smells what he's cooking is what the Rock does. <laughs> you know he I mean? used to always make that face, like the eyebrow. <laughs> I mean, you did a really good job of it right there, except both your eyebrows were up. <laughs> If I tried, if I tried really hard, I could probably do it. But it looked like you were I'm, trying. It looked like you were I'm trying. I'm laughing to hit too someone. hard. See, it's a little bit. You have to work at that. He had to have practiced that. I'm sure he did. Um, <laughs> my, you know what? My dad always did this thing, and I always felt like when I was younger, it was kind of cool. That wasn't cool. It's just like he would say it, and I'd be like, "Yeah." Now when he says it, I'm just like, "It's been 30 years." There hasn't been a single fucking other phrase that you could come up with. So when I was a kid and I played basketball, I was like a huge Michael Jordan fan. Um, so obviously Michael Jordan endorsed by Nike and Nike's saying is just do it. So like if there was anything in my life that was, you know, like I was trying to do, my dad would go be like Nike son, just do it. And that's like all the fucking time he would say that. Um, I don't play basketball anymore. So clearly I didn't listen too hard to that. Uh, and I, heard him say it a bunch of times like when i got older i'm just like there's got to be another phrase man 
there's got to be another phrase and there, and there never was he would say it today if i called him i guarantee you <laughs> if Do i said it. to him if i said to him i'm like hey dad um we didn't have anything to talk about on the podcast, so what should I do? He'd be like, just do it, son. And that's what he would have said. And I'd have been like, okay, I'm going to talk about you saying that that's on a, a podcast. Just that sounds like it might tiny frustrate you a tiny bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually irritated right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got one for you. My grandfather used to say to me, is that your unbiased point of view? Oh. Yeah. Try having very, a rocket scientist coming up to you and saying that all uh, the time. It's always quizzing you. Mm, mm-hmm. It's always a quiz. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got another one. My dad would also say, like, his um, anytime like he would be talking or telling a story, and someone maybe butts in and kind of takes over the conversation, he would sit there. Once they were done, he would sit there, <laughs> sigh, and go. Anyways, meanwhile, back at the ranch. He'd say that all the fucking time. <laughs> like, like I could call it when he was about. I saw the look on his face. I'm like, oh, somebody took all the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, no, there's lots. And I mean, Scottish people have tons of like little sayings. And I'm sure if I thought about it, there could be a, a bunch of others. Um, oh, there's so many. I mean, I was even all... going back to the Scottish heritage. Oof. Yeah, no. Now it's just that's wild. Apparently. Is what for I say. you, yes. Yeah. <laughs> or dude. Or dude. feral. I, I say dude a lot. I do. Yeah. It must it's be an, dudes, it's maybe, maybe it's an Indiana thing. <laughs> could be an Indiana thing. Yeah, it could be an Indiana thing. Yeah, mine's um, just attributes. That, yeah. <laughs> uh, that is uh, something someone right now is going, I'm. they're thinking that right now as you're about to say it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I might mute it. <laughs> Just bleep that part you out. You should bleep it out. Yeah. For, all the, for all the people who don't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think of other things that my dad would always say, but nothing is coming to me. I have other I things, know. but I don't think they're really appropriate to say now that I think Well, that, I mean, that too. I mean, you got to yeah. keep it. Yeah. PG 13 ish. Some, somewhat. <laughs> within reason exactly yeah. for all you know for all the families that sit around and listen to bourbon with friends yeah uh, with each yeah. yeah we should definitely keep it pg so yeah. what the, uh the fuck was i think <laughs> let's see oh, you wild did, did my knowledge yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey. Oh, God. I just remember my grandfather. He said this one last thing. What, what was it? Uh, why in the world would you ever consider doing that? And that was constantly to anything. If you did a math problem wrong, if you jumped off a cliff, if you... <laughs> and I might say to you, like, about jump to jump rope. off a cliff, I'm like, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, I'm going to remember these and I'm going to say them. Oh, trust and me. other times. <laughs> we're all sober ish yeah well, we actually are sober that's kind of wild yeah oh i said ish adrian's the only one drinking right now i had uh like three she, sips she, she, so far so she's she's smashed <laughs> <laughs> that's you know how true. she gets after three drinks. i know how you get. i know what three sips are <laughs> <laughs> i didn't say chugs i said sips well, you were drinking out of that bottle pretty heavily. We're, uh, it's we all a little, know. It's a little bottle. And it's almost gone. It was full earlier. No, it wasn't. I drank well, half of it already. Not today. Yeah, but not. A- no one knows that. So I'm just going to go off of what yeah, everybody's going to hear. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think they're going to believe? The two sober people. That was a mic drop right there. You guys didn't <laughs> say is. anything. Rude. Can you smell it? Can you smell what Adrian's cooking? <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's uh what's the food that reminds you guys of summer? Like when you smell it, you know that it's like you know that the that it started. Probably just anybody like when I smell something, somebody that they have something on the grill. 
just yeah. like if I can, my neighbors got something going on and I can, I don't necessarily know what they're cooking, but you can tell it's on the grill. <laughs> yeah. I think mine's like sweet corn and brats. It's like when you can, Ooh. like when they're doing that and you can tell and someone's, someone's on a good job and it's just, uh, it's, it's the smell that like when I walk over to like my sister's, I'm like, Oh, I know what they're doing right now. And then you hear the dogs bark in the backyard. So I know they're back there anyways. So, um, Franco got humped the other day. I was gonna say, do you always take your do you always take Franco over there? Yeah. He got assaulted twice. <laughs> was he mad about it? So it was he was actually he was fucking mad. Like he was sitting there minding his business. My sister's dog comes up, kind of tapped him on his back. He kind of turned around and said, I'm ch- I'm chilling right now. So then he started humping him. And then they got in a really big fight, and then they ran around the yard, and then Franco humped him. Which I thought was a weird thing to do in retribution, but you know that. But you know, isn't that like a dominance thing? That's sexual Between- for them. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a dog owner, so I don't know. <laughs> when they were sniffing each other's butts after, so I don't know how much of a dominance thing that is. They were just like going in a circle, just like this. Uh, mm. It looked like the looked like the Targaryen <laughs> symbol, except not dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, that's no. Yeah. Well, your dog's gay now. Got it. Oh, he's he's been gay. I was gonna say, wasn't yeah. he? He's always been gay. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's fine. He just looked at me like, "What the fuck are you? T- what are you saying about me?" <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we couldn't have a camera that panned to Franco right now. <laughs> and he's just sitting there like, he's just like pointing a gun at me. <laughs> say something <laughs> say something bitch yeah he's a yeah, he's a funny little guy but no yeah i always take franco over there my sister got a big backyard play it plays around and he just sort of stares the anything that moves behind the fence so you know so that's how he gets down that's how he gets down adrian what's something that you want to try as far like any spirit do you want to try that you haven't yet? Um, I really, that 2XO stuff intrigues me because I love double oak things typically. Like almost everything that I've tried that has been a double oak I've enjoyed. Um, <clears throat> probably... The I would like to try the white label Weller. What is that called? The C C or something like that. Yeah, I've heard that one is. Um, in talking to people that kind of share a similar palette, that's the one they like the most. Which one? It's got a white label C Y P B. I think it's called C Weller. It's the create your own bourbon one. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to send you a sample? If you want to, but you don't have to. Just keep it on keep it on deck, and then if you ever got something else you gotta send me, you can just yeah, throw that in there. That'll it's somewhere here. Yeah. You can when you come here, you could just take five or six bottles. I don't need this many. Yeah. yeah. There's probably um I know there's Michter's ones that I've haven't tried, like the toasted rye. I don't think I've tried that. Um is that what this one is? They've got like They've got quite a few that I don't think I've tried. Now, everything that they have that's, you know, on the shelf, I've tried. Yeah. Um, I love their American whiskey. Um, but that I haven't tried a lot of the more allocated stuff, obviously. No, I don't know. This is a limited release. I can tell you. It's a rye. I'm fancying rye quite a bit more these days. Oh yeah, they're good. Yes, they're, good. yes, they're very good. I don't know why I just go to knife, but they're good. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> fidgety. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you, guys, do you guys have those kind of things? Just like kind of like really like like not, I guess ticks. Like, is that a tick? Like if you like if you yeah, have to like be, like if you have yes. to be, like spinning a pen in your hand or something like that. Yeah. 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 Mine is more like. um I always want a mint or a piece of gum or something. I'm really trying to break that habit right now because I always think I got to be 
constantly like a, talking or chewing. My mouth or moving yeah. or chewing or something. Yeah. It's like an it's like, is that an oral fixation? Um, possibly. I used to smoke, so I oh, that could be it. Yep. Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes, uh, and then I once I quit, I um chewed gum all the time, and it's 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 a it's a you it's just sh- I just switched from cigarettes yeah. to gum. That's all I did. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> to be fair, I'm cigarettes probably you know might end your life earlier than a piece of gum might. Yeah, so, well, I agree. it depends. You could choke on a piece of gum. Oh, uh, like those ice cream. I've done ones. that. <laughs> no. I've done that. They fall asleep with the, yeah. That's not No, good. God, no. I don't chew gum before I go to bed. Are you crazy? It, it was actually, uh, it was uh, a pen that got me to quit smoking cigarettes. So when I stopped, I was about 19 because I'd smoked cigarettes in high school. Um, oh, okay. I see. I didn't so, start smoking until I was almost 19. <laughs> oh, God. I was like, 14 12. or 15 or something like wow. that <laughs> yeah um and it was like stealing it was like basically like just like stealing it from like friends parents to smoke like you would have had to you couldn't buy them yeah well in indiana sometimes you can um but uh it it, it was all like marlboro if they marlboro believe you're reds. 18 yeah. yeah marlboro reds it was like paul malls it was just a bunch of shit cigars or c- cigarettes sorry um <laughs> and then i quit and i just used to put like a pen in my mouth and just chew on it and yep. that helped. And then I didn't smoke a cigarette for 19 years. I fucking moved back to Indiana. And you smoked a cigarette. In six months, I smoked a fucking cigarette. <laughs> Not a lot. And I don't. I haven't bought a pack because I didn't realize how fucking expensive oh, they God, are. I love Indiana. <laughs> Indiana. <laughs> I fucking love it here. Fucking ridiculous. But, okay, you guys. Bottle can't kill. See, right? You can't see this right now, but she's chugging oh. a bottle of rum. Yeah, it's a she's, it's a baby bottle, you guys. It doesn't say how hammered. much is in here, she's doing but this. it's like little that bottle. That, that's, that's that justification thing again, Brian. Where she goes, the bottle's smaller, you can chug it more. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep refilling this <laughs> with other stuff, <laughs> so I can say it's a little <laughs> bottle. Did you ever give that uh, other one a little bit more of a shot? The uh, Golden shot, not golden shot. The heart of gold. What the fuck? I forgot what it's called. Oh my god! Uh, you what know, the fuck? I forgot giving the golden shower a try. Uh, heart of gold. Sorry. <laughs> the golden shower. <laughs> I forgot the name. This, for a the first time I tried it, I a golden was, shower. The golden shower. Um, I was. I don't think I was prepared for what I was trying. And then you, um, yeah. the second time, the next day, I tried it again, and it was better. I don't know if it was because I had had it open a little bit or or what, but it was definitely better the second time around. It's not like anything I have ever tried. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, it is. A, it's that funky or high ester Jamaican style that, you know, that is it's it's weird. It's weird as hell. The first time I ever tried one, I felt like it tasted like fucking pencil shavings <laughs> and, and peach. What yeah. I think you should do with it. Um, and you can always ask uh, Rough Spirits, Mr. Marshall. Because he probably has a good cocktail that you could try it in first to get even more used to it. I don't. I didn't do it that way, but I know he suggested for me to do it that way. So well, and even um, the Rolling Fork gentleman mentioned that it's really meant to. Well, that's what it was what, for that it's too. For. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's what it's for. Yeah. To be honest, no. I would do like a peach puree cocktail with that. Yeah. Yeah. I've made a peach puree really- before. Now I really want to do that because I just got some Palisade peaches. Ooh. Ooh. Those are the good peaches. Uh-huh. Those are the good peaches. It's like 40 minutes from my house, so might as well get them. It's true. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, try like a like a good cocktail with it. I'm sure that it'll help you kind of get your head around the flavors without being just like, you know, blasted in, the, blasted <laughs> yeah. in the face. Yeah. Like a, like a golden shower. Like a golden shower. <laughs> All comes full circle in these types of things. Mm-hmm. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. Just something we were not expecting to get into. Yeah. Never well, maybe Martin. Yeah. Um 
I got so this is from my buddy's collection that I got from him. Uh, Adrian, I didn't show you. I showed Martin earlier. It's mm-hmm. the Whistle Pig Orange Fashion Cocktail. Oh. Yeah. That sounds interesting. I like the matte finish on the bottle. Yeah. Cool. I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Did you try it? No, because I'm not oh, sure you I don't... a hangover. Oh. Mm. A lot of sugar. I've, I've tried some Whistle Pig, so I mean... It's. I thought it was what I've had is. I think I had the rye, the ten year small batch rye. Uh, well, I have a lot of whistle pig now too. So any bottle you guys want to try, let me know. <laughs> I think I have thirteen bottles. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get that many of the whistle pig. Yeah. So, I got a chicken cock too. Me too. Wait, what are we talking about? I do not have a chicken, chicken cock. cock. I was trying to get Adrian to say that she had a chicken cock. I don't have a chicken cock. Can you edit that where it says, I have a chicken cock? <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> It'll be great. And we're just going to post that yeah. everywhere. Make a dance remix. I, I, I have a, have a, have a chicken, <laughs> chicken cock. <laughs> Uh, well, I think we found the title of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I my have ch- a chicken cock. My chicken. <laughs> my mom said my chicken hurts. <laughs> my cheeks hurt. <laughs> my cheeks hurt from laughing so much. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Actually, so that's a cool question because you brought up the bottle that that is in. Yeah. Um, favorite bottle design in in all the spirits. So obviously, we 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 focus on whiskey, but if it's outside of whiskey. Cause there's some cool, there's some really cool like tequila bottles. Ooh. You know what I mean? Uh, are I we talking know. glass or are we talking it ceramic? Anything. It could be anything. I don't have a, I, I don't know of ceramic bottles. I've obviously they know they exist, but I wouldn't even be able to name. I wouldn't even be able to name one. I don't think. Oh, I don't mind. There's a dragon scale whiskey. I like. Their class. bottle is, yes, it's awesome. It's all, right. it's literally layered in dragon scales. It looks like all the way down. That's pretty that cool. That sounds awesome. Yep. So that one. That one. I think I have to go with uh, um, the the matte blue single cask bottles from Arden American. Oh, they have yeah. The, they have like the little, they have the, since it's all matte blue, you can't really see uh, uh, the liquid inside, but they have like a little, uh, it almost looks like a thermometer uh, on the side yeah. of it. Um, and it's so like you can actually see how low your bottle's getting in it. And yeah, they're they're usually only reserved for their single cast stuff. And they are, it's a fucking beautiful bottle. Like, kind of like this one. It's got the same blue color. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. This is from High West, though. And that's their vodka. Oh, I think. I yeah. say that looks like a High West bottle. Yeah, it's their vodka. It's an older High West bottle. My, I bought one bottle because I like the bottle, and it? it was, um, it was Saint Cloud Abstract too, and it's got the artwork all in the front. Have you guys ever seen it? No, you know what I'm talking about. No. It's this one. But I liked. Oh, I, I cool. liked. I liked the artwork on the front, and obviously the shape of the bottle and the topper and all that. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Are you so, gonna do something with that bottle once, like once it's done? Because you're not gonna throw it away, obviously. No, I'm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't you know should put a light in it. it. Yeah, you can stuff yeah. those string lights in it. Yeah. So it that was. I shared most of this bottle too. Believe it or not. Well, there you go. Okay, that's the most that's the bottle I've paid the most money for too. Did you did you like the whiskey? Uh yeah, it was good. I wouldn't say it's my my hands down my favorite. It's it's uh got a sauntern cask finish, which I'm not I find crazy about right. If I have to pick a wine, I don't particularly care for a wine cask finish personally. 
I mm. like I had double oak is probably my favorite, but um, it was it's very good. It's got a wonderful finish, absolutely wonderful finish. Yeah, sauternes. It's like a dessert, a kind of a lighter dessert wine, and it, 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 I think it's one of the best things that that people have been finishing things in for for me personally, especially a single malts. Uh, I have a couple of different ones. I've had a great Balcones that was an American single malt that was finished in sauternes. Sauternes. For some fucker in the comments says I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, um, I don't. And then I've had oh, I have an Edgador. Uh, that's uh, finished as a 10 year single malt scotch that's finished in that and does really, really well. Um, I like all, all of soak. I mean, all Rosso finish and I'm good. If you're talking about, if you're talking about wine finishes, you know, I don't really like PX all that much. I think it's too sweet. I'm trying to um, think of it. I like Pedro Jimenez. Yeah, it's good. It, it works well in some things. And to me, it just doesn't. Um, I've had some, I think, a, yeah, if it's a rye, it needs to be a higher proof <laughs> rye. Then I think that way it cuts it out a little bit. So, I prefer it with um, like peated whiskeys. Like Lafroy does a couple of different uh, PX finishes where I actually really like the way that it plays with their kind of intense peat. Yeah, and to me, it kind of balances each other out. Uh, they had a, a, a travel exclusive. Um, to be fair, it was kind of hit or miss, but it was a it was a PX finished one for them, and it was I liked it. You know, it wasn't I don't normally reach for Lafroy, but that's one that I would probably reach for if I if I saw it on the shelf again. So when a when a whiskey says or a bourbon says or even a, a, a single malt, <laughs> if it's a port finish, is that considered like a wine finish? Yeah, no? it's a, like a yeah, four to five cast. Four to okay, five I thought so. I just didn't want to make an assumption, but, I, but um, there was that Cedar Ridge port finish that I had that Mister Freedom Malts sent me. Um, Shout out for the Drew. blind blind uh, sample showdown was. That was marvelous. <laughs> yeah. It was so, it was so good. I'm pretty sure it was, it was a bourbon, a port finished bourbon. From that them. one was, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was, that was magnificent. Yeah. There's very, there's very little that Cedar Ridge does. That's not very good from what I've had so far. It's all been very, very good stuff, which is cool because, you know, they kind of come out of nowhere. I remember seeing their bottles and I, I didn't know anything about them. I know that some of their main uh, core offerings are very like a lot lower in proof. So yeah. I, I was like, cause if, you know, I, I'm not that I'm like, I'm going to turn away whiskey cause it's lower proof, but I tend to reach for stuff that's 46% and above that's 43%, I think for some of their offerings. And I just, you know, when I tried some of their castring stuff, I thought it was pretty phenomenal. I mean, I Arsenal. agree with you. I, I, I usually go after something that's 50 or above from, on average now, but yeah, I've been having a lot of stuff recently that's that 40 to 43% and I'm starting to really enjoy it. I believe Ed, Edwin Coe is uh, 45 ABV, if I'm not mistaken. I should know that by heart, but I don't. <laughs> I know. Someone's going to ask you one of these days. <laughs> Probably very soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe in like I don't know, like four days or something. <laughs> <laughs> and Brian and I just show up and we just sit at the bar. Um, excuse me, what's the proof on every single one of these alcohol on your <laughs> all your spirits? I mean, name them right now. Don't look at the te bottles. <laughs> technically I'll be closer, I so I could do that. <laughs> Good old four. Am I going to? Down. Probably not. I'll be too drunk. Oh nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, and you probably can't. I don't think you can even Uber out there because it's just North literally. Dakota. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> you ride on bison, is what you do out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks, Joyce. <laughs> That's true. All right. <clears throat> well, I don't know. What do you guys think? We did forty think... minutes. That's that's not that's pretty fucking good. Yeah. Yeah. If people haven't for tuned out by now, you know what I mean? It's not for shenanigans. It's, I saying? know. You never know. But uh, right. we have we have some cool people coming up, guys. Uh, I know we have Lost Lantern is one that's going to be coming out soon. Mm -hmm. uh, we have for High, and High and Wicked. High and Wicked. A couple other really cool interviews that are coming down the pipeline that will be coming out in the, in the coming weeks. So, of course, check us out. We appreciate everybody that's been listening and 
given cool comments to us. Uh, we really do appreciate it. So we didn't um, want to not record and just kind of just do some bullshit with these two. So thanks to everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks, and remember, a bourbon with friends can change the world. Have a good night, y'all, or day, Cheers. or wherever you're at. Have a great time. Bye. See y'all. Okay. That's it for this episode of Bourbon with Friends. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. While you're at it, leave us a review to make it easier for others to find the show. You can also check us out on Instagram at BWF Podcast. Thanks for listening.